Okay, we're back, and this is the top 10 songs of the week for May 28th. I finally get back home from being at school for so long, and I had to do this in a room full of rabbit crap, aka my brother's room, because he's currently working, and I don't have a room, because the rabbit sleeps in here more than I do. Anyway, so, I absolutely love wrestling, if you don't know about, about me. I enjoy, like, actually wrestling competitively for, like, medals and stuff. I like wrestling with my girlfriend. You know, actually, you don't, because I, I, can't, I can't get one to actually wrestle with. And um, I like watching wrestling on TV, like Daily Green stuff. I liked it for about 11 years, and they have fiends on that they walked onto the ring with. So these aren't the best, but these are just my favorite at the current moment. Although I do have to give a, a shout-out and honorable mention to this song called All the Things She Said by Tato or Tattoo or whatever it is. And that was by... Um, well, the, the wrestler that I walked out to, what's her name, was Victoria. And the reason I'm giving it a shot is because I had no clue what a wrestler fiend song, and I've been listening to it for, like, the past year and a half. So, but it didn't make the list, but I just find it very funny. I was listening to it, and I had no clue that it would actually be qualif- eligible for this list. To qualify for the list, what I was going to say before I cut myself off. So, number 10 this week, we have Rhea Ripley, and she is the current, what, SmackDown Women Champion, even though she's on Raw, it's spoiling that one to me, two different brands. Her song called Demon in Your Dreams ended by Motionless and White. Somehow, Motionless and White, you know, my favorite band, wrote a wrestler, that a song that a wrestler uses, ironically enough. Not coincidental. Number nine, we have this wrestler named Maria. Well, she doesn't wrestle anymore, but when she did, she had a song called With Red Like right That. Interesting song by this so- by the band called Zeverhead. Even more interesting. Pretty catchy. It's actually pretty good about female like it, it's kind of in the title next we have rita and when she vessel she used the song love fury passion energy i don't know if that's all about one word or two words or four but it's interesting and the band that wrote it was boys hit car i don't know i feel like these people just throw random words together for both their band name and the name of their song i i do not understand it in the slightest number seven we have this Wrestler a group called The Judgment Day. Well, it started off with Edge of Fiend's song, and then he got kicked out of his own group that he made. Anyway, their song called The Other Side and by Alter Bridge, which is really good. It's actually a really good song. Next, we have The Undertaker. Now, if you think of The Undertaker, you think of death and depression and stuff, which is what he usually walks out to, like the gong when they're burying someone. But, like, he had this American badass thing, like, in the early 2000s, and he came out to roll him by Limp Biscuit, And it's the coolest sounding thing ever. Oh, I absolutely love it. It's my favorite Undertaker theme song. I think it's underrated. Okay, number five, we have Randy Orton theme song, his first one, Burning My Light by this band called Mercy Drive. Never heard of him either. I like his other song, Voices, as well, but... Uh, Burning My Light is, is probably better. Next, we have Jeff Hardy. When he was in WWE, he used the song No More Words. And I can't pronounce the name. It's like Ed, Ed, Edder, Ed Ever After. It's like E-D-E-V-E-R-A-F-T-E-R. All one word. How do you pronounce that? I have no clue. Number three, we have CM Punk, his first theme song, This Fire by Kill Switch Engage. And then he switched to Cold the Personality by Blinding Colors or whatever that band's called. I have no clue. But both of them are equally good. But I like this fire a little bit more. Next, at number two, we have Kane. He had many theme songs since he wrestled for like 25 years. But I like the one, like the only one word that he used from like 2002 to 2008. Called Slow Chemical by this band called Finger Eleven. Pretty freaking good. But my favorite, hand down, is by probably one of my favorite wrestlers ever. His name's Kristen. His song called Just Close Your Eye. And it's by Story of the Year, which is pretty cool band name, honestly. So, uh, I don't know what next week is going to be, but this is like wrestling theme songs. All of them are actually pretty good. They work well with wrestling and without wrestling. And uh, so I think they're pretty cool.